All right, guys. So we're back again. We got a 2014 hybrid Prius, and today, actually a hatchback. Hello. So <clears throat> we're gonna put this FA 200. We took everything out of the bag. You know, the, all, all the hard work. I'll show you how to catch power, how to mount her, how to run wires. We're gonna put the camera right there underneath the mirror, where I can get my finger in there, right there. And then we're gonna do this. We already started with this, and I used my handy dandy zip tie. And what I did was pop this guy out, no tools. This guy has a lock front here, right there, and one in the back. So you wanna grab, so if it's under, you wanna grab in the sides, push those little tabs in which are right there, I'll show you again. Right there, that's a, that little tab. Looks like a little notch. Snake the wire right through, all the way one piece. Pop these three tabs right there. These guys, there's three of them. I don't know where the other one went. Probably still in there, hey, there you are. Right, and then snake the wire through. Just, just gives you a little bit of slack. I'm gonna come this way. I'm gonna come down to the passenger side, which is easier for me. It doesn't really matter which way. You can probably go this way, driver's side. It doesn't matter. Came up through it's this little jack wire. All I had to do was remove this panel. That's all you need to do, just the center one. And we're gonna mount her right here in about five seconds. And we'll be right back. All right, guys, so I took the liberty of mounting the camera, <clears throat> getting as centered as possible, the camera, not the actual the lens itself is camera. See, the third brake light starts there, ends there. Put the lens as close as possible to the middle. Pop the panel back on, not a big deal. This guy just shoves back in there. It's just a pressure fit grommet. That's that. This guy locks back in. That's that. And I draped, I'm actually going to the driver's side. I said it doesn't matter, but it, this one doesn't matter. So, to tuck the wire, got my handy dandy hook tool. Love this thing. Go right between, see how it makes a little gap? So much easier. You see, we go like this. I'm gonna come around here. So, I'm gonna come around and show you where, how I get to the front. Same thing, I take the rubber off, but I'll show you in increments. Be right back. All right, guys, so we got to here. Now, again, using this tool, you can continue using it, just putting it in like this over here. But this is so much easier if you just grab the wire and just tuck it in like that. And it's gone. And just continue on. Use your finger. Not hard. It's just a little rubber. See? And voila, no tools. These are your tools. Hello. Gone. Yeah, even here, you see? Shows you where it actually is. If I can get it to zoom in. Or... That's it. You want to come over here now you can sort of push depending on the headliner depending on the car you can push it in by your hand just to start it you see but it always makes it easier with something like this you just tuck that you can straighten this out you see see the wire is still sort of sitting there you can go like this and just get it to sit. You get the idea. That's it. So this lays flat like this. No one knows it's there. And you're good to go. Continue around. Same thing in the front. Let's see. Kind of hard with one hand, but you get the idea. Or just you could use your hands. Let's see. Can we? Can we? Eh. A little harder. But you get the idea. As long as it tucks it away. It'll lay flat once you actually get the wire in there. That's why this is easier. Push in. See? It's gone.
There you go. We're going to move all the way around and try to get power at the dashboard. i take this guy off. So we'll get there. Be right back. All right, guys. So I mounted it. And it is off-centered. But it's done purposely. Because the lens is on this side. So if I put the whole mirror centered then you get more of passenger side not the driver's side or even so i mean i guess it's preference if you want it aesthetically pleasing then yes center it but anyway moving on piece of tape keep the wires together there's two of them one for the rear one for the rear camera one for power which i'm doing now just tuck up underneath this pulls down you see these wires actually under here they pull it down, push it back in, gone. Gone. If you can see that, full focus, gone. Now I got to here, same thing to use my hands to finish it off. Use a handy dandy tool and just tuck it in. As long as the wire is tucked in. Hey, look, it's gone. Depends on the car. It's gone. See, once you put the rubber back in. Here's the rear wire. Now these just pull off. So this rubber, just literally grab it and pull it off. They're pressure fitted. I think I've showed you that before. Down, down, down. Tuck it away down. Put this guy back. And I hold everything in place. So I'm going to run that down, take the dash off, get to the fuse bin so we get some power, see where we're at. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so off the dash fuse panel. Now, to get to that, we've got this panel right here. Nothing but clips. Just pressure. Just right back in. Get your hand between it. I usually try to get my hand from here in between the actual. I just pull here this way. Or you can use your handy-dandy hook tool. Ooh. Pull this panel up the sill panel and the kick panel you probably don't even have to do this I did it thinking that I needed to take this guy off but you don't need to so let's finish pulling this wire back in I'm stuffing them away right so we're gonna get back down to there but we'll do that after we just tuck 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 See, the rubber, the rubber will just cover them. But anyway, so power. Can't possibly mistaken that for 12 volts. That is on all the time. That is from the battery, this big guy. You got to cut this tape off right here, and it'll slide back off as a coating. And now ignition, if you look closely, is the second pin. Let's see if I can get a better picture of this. Is the second pin up where my little meter is stabbed in this red wire? So let me pull this guy back out. Use a meter. Meter. We want 12 volts. So we're going to use the meter. You see, pull this guy aside. You see, you got a blue and a red. Is that already stripped it? Got a hole in the wire itself. That is your 12 volts. Now, to make sure, stab them back in. You can see that. You can't see that. And stab them back in so it stays. Stay. All right. So we got nothing. Hook it to ground. We got nothing. Now let's hit ignition. Let's try this. One hander. Here we go. One, two. There we go. There's 12 volts. Let go. There's your ground gone. Hold it. All right, 12 volts. That's what we want. That's on all the time. Off. You can hear the clicking. 12 volts off. That's it. Okay, 12 volts. Let me wrap this up. I'll show you what I did. And we're almost done. All right, guys. So we're in the home stretch. So I took this bolt out. I didn't want the wire to come down and around. Just to be a nice guy. I took the bolt out, pulled the dash out a little bit. Ran the wire from behind it. So it'll help keep it there. Now, also serves another purpose. It came with already, um, um, 
forget what these things are called. This actual metal piece. Um, it's a clip, not a clip. Anyway, so I took the 12 mils out, the 10 mil, I'm sorry, 10 mil out, grounded it there, and with the wires, the ones that had holes in, you see what I did? I looped it around, tucked it in, and then I'm going to put a piece of tape on it and come down with it. So, did the ignition too. I'll do that real fast, throw a piece of tape on it so I'll show you the end result. I'll be right back real quick. All right, so, so the final result is taped it. Now, the big one, because it's such a thick coating, I put two layers of tape. And by the time you actually layer them up and overlap each other, so it's more like four layers of tape. Put this guy back on just to make it look pretty. You don't have to tape it back up. It'll stay. Same thing with ignition. All right, so you got your ignition tucked away. Power tucked away, grounded. Now, let's see, moment of truth, this puppy's gonna turn on. All right, so power, finger, woohoo, nope, it was ignition, so you gotta hit it again. And let's see, is it gonna turn on? Is there any lights, any indicators? Woo, we got a red light. Oh, we got power. Well, I don't have the phone on me, or the, I'm sorry, the app. Just want to make sure it's got power. He's going to end up doing that. Continuous recording will now start. Oh, now it's talking to me. All right. This thing doesn't want to focus at all. Sorry, but, sorry guys, but it just doesn't want to focus. It's in the shadows. Anyway, you got the idea. So, like it, don't like it, share, don't share, subscribe, don't subscribe. Thanks for watching.